SCP Foundation Groups of Interest The Foundation is not the only group with an interest and investment in the paranormal and metaphysical. There are many other groups in existence who possess, use, or attempt to create SCP objects, either for their own personal gain or for the protection of mankind. Some are rival organizations, some are splinter groups of the Foundation, and some are trusted associates of the Foundation. In any case, it has been deemed necessary to create and distribute a brief on what agencies the Foundation knows about and our stance towards them. Alexava University Very little is known about Alexava University or its motives. Evidence appears to suggest that the organization exists in some sort of alternate universe in which Latin and Greek cultures maintain dominance, at least over the Western Hemisphere. Nothing to date is known about any other part of this world. All university-related objects have been found in the mid-southern United States, and more specifically in Tennessee, leading Foundation researchers to believe the university itself is located in that geographical area. Many objects associated with the university, which is not believed to have built the objects, are recovered during postal transit via an agency known as Phytransiman Combine, and accompanied by relevant paperwork which has helped shed light on the objects and the place from which they came. To date, all that is known about the methods that transferred the objects is that the technology used a principle similar to that of the Einstein-Rosen bridge, a concept considered purely theoretical by contemporary science. A particular section of the university known as the Department of Natural Philosophy is considered responsible for the transferences, possibly without the knowledge or consent of the rest of the organization. Catalog SCPs relevant to Alexa University include SCP-877-961-1043-1084-1085-1086-1087-1087-1087-1087-1087-1087-1087-1087-1087-1087-1087-1087-1087-1087-1087-1087-1087-1087-1087-1087-1087-1087-1087-1087-1087-1087-1087
an object that can cause a variety of destructive effects depending on where it is struck. Both of these SCPs were originally obtained at no small cost by the Foundation, and were stolen by the original founders of the Insurgency. The Insurgency also has a known association with SCP-355 and SCP-884. The main base of operation of the Insurgency is unknown, as are its leaders. This organization is directly antagonistic to the Foundation, coming into clash over SCP items several times. Personnel are made to be aware of possible raids, terrorist attempts, and spies from the Insurgency, and to notify command about any strange activity of fellow personnel. The Church of the Broken God Shortly after discovery and containment of SCP-882, several members of this church came forward and demanded the return of the Heart of God. Led by one Robert Romero, they are a group of zealots, believing many of the SCP items to be parts of a god that was broken after the creation of the universe. By restoring it to its whole state, they will also gain godhood. Since first contact, three other key components of the god have also been tentatively identified. SCP-217, SCP-271, and SCP-1139. A sect dedicated to the church built SCP-808. They are extremely hostile to Foundation operatives, branded them heretics, and will attempt to kill operatives and break containment of SCP items. It is unknown how they are able to detect these items, but they have shown their ability to do so with frightening accuracy. In addition, they have shown a remarkable ability to resist the mental effects of SCP items, notably SCP-882 and its mental lure. The Church is viewed as a threat to both the Foundation and SCP. Members are to be detained by force or eliminated by whatever means deemed necessary by Foundation agents. Dr. Wondertainment It is unknown whether Dr. Wondertainment is an individual or an organization. All that is known is that Dr. Wondertainment is capable of producing anomalous artifacts and entities which thematically resemble children's toys. Links to the Factory have been speculated but are unconfirmed. The Factory Little is known about the factory, except that they seem capable of manufacturing anomalous artifacts and that they use mass production techniques to do so. This church is to other churches what clowns are to people. They are some superficial similarities, but all the wrong things are being emphasized and exaggerated so you can't quite put your finger on what is wrong. Sure, it is out to get you, but what does it mean? Why is it there? What happens if it calls to you, Doctor? The Fifth Church, also known as the Church of Fifthism and the Fifthist Fellowship, is a highly secretive religious organization which possesses ties throughout the entertainment industry. Despite repeated investigations culminating in the 2007 nationwide sting known as Operation Stargazer, no further details regarding its doctrines, its practices, its number of members, or its goals have been confirmed. Although a watch list is maintained of 100 confirmed and suspected Fifthist celebrities and other prominent personalities. Its origins have been placed in varying points in the mid-20th century and various locations in North America and Asia, but some sources have dated it to centuries earlier. The Fifth Church has never communicated directly with the SCP Foundation, but it is considered to be a hostile force. Objects attributed to this group which are currently under Foundation custody include SCP-1523, SCP-1982, SCP-1724, and SCP-1425. The Global Occult Coalition The GOC was created in the aftermath of World War II, from the remnants of the affecting occultists, psychics, priests, and scientists from Nazi, Soviet, and Allied states, brought together and formed by the Allies. As the world stage broadened, so too did the number of countries that had their hands in the GOC, until it became what it is today. The GOC are a largely political force, seeing themselves as the police of the paranormal world. They pride themselves on destroying supernatural entities, and make use of the most high-tech experimental technology as possible, obtained from their benefactors. Many potential SCPs have been destroyed by them before the Foundation could obtain and contain them. They have been both on the side of the Foundation and against it at times, depending on the situation. They largely hold the Foundation in contempt for their use and containment of SCP items rather than their out-and-out -out destruction. The GOC has respected the Foundation's formidable might enough to leave it mostly alone, although there have been some questionable incidents in which the GOC have strictly denied involvement. Agents of the GOC are to be treated with suspicion. The GOC are known to have involved themselves with SCP-1609 and SCP-1899. Gru Division P 
Originally known as the 4th Department Abnormal Occurrences Commission, it was established in early 1935 by direct decree of J. V. Stalin, its first task being the investigation of the murder of S. M. Karov. During World War II, the Commission expanded a newly reorganized GRU as Division P Psychotronics, working to counteract anomalous threats from the SS, Ananerb, and the Vatican, and to capture and study anomalous artifacts from both home and abroad for the benefit of the Soviet government. Division P has carried on with this role throughout the Cold War, making Foundation operations in the countries of the Comintern difficult. After 1991, rapid restructuring coupled with budget cuts and the decommissioning or sale of significant assets resulted in numerous defections of their personnel. A significant proportion of both Chaos Insurgency and Marshall Carter and Dark operatives in Eastern Europe originated from GRU Division P ranks and the flooding of the European black market with anomalous items formerly in their possession. Currently, this group of interest poses little direct threat to the Foundation. Objects associated with GRU Division P are SCP-1011, SCP-1723, and SCP-1232. Herman Fuller's Circus of the Disquieting Herman Fuller's Circus of the Disquieting is purported to be a circus of anomalous origin and purpose. Currently, there is no evidence that this group exists beyond the allegations of various sapient SCPs and a handful of damaged non-anomalous artifacts. Most instances of related objects typified by humanoid status are physically muta mutilated in some way, such as SCP-1884 and SCP-1860. Others appear to be typical fairground objets d'art such as SCP-1921, or take the form of attractions for the show, such as SCP-1956 or SCP-1931. Typically, objects related to Herman Fuller's Circus of the Disquieting are found at fairgrounds where the show is said to have performed. The Horizon Initiative The Horizon Initiative is an organization created in the late 1960s by various influential sects of the main three Abrahamic religions as a response to their growing number of anomalous activities and groups which they perceived as threats. Though the full extent of their goals is uncertain, the Horizon Initiative is known to target SCP objects, either with the intention of retrieving or destroying them, depending on each item's perceived place in their dogma. The initiative is led by a tribunal composed of leaders from the three largest sects involved in its creation, though a large amount of internal strife often leaves the official leadership in less than full control of the organization. The HI's main combat force, Project Malleus, is generally deployed in the anti-cult operations and in SCP retrieval operations. The initiative's relations with most other groups of interest in the Foundation seem to be in a state of constant flux. While all parts of the H.I. perceive the Church of the Broken God and Fifth Church with a great degree of hostility, and at times engaging in an armed conflict, sentiments towards the Foundation and the GOC vary greatly, from open hostility to a limited willingness to cooperate depending on the internal affiliation of individual members. Mana Charitable Foundation Established in 1971 as an Interfaith Humanitarian Relief Agency, recovered documents describe the Mana Charitable Foundation's mission as sharing all of God's miracles with the least of his children. Funded indirectly through associations with various charitable groups and religious organizations, and on occasion publicly endorsed by wealthy philanthropists or academic institutions, the MCS's primary agenda since its founding has been the free distribution of anomalous objects or their byproducts to civilians living in poverty-stricken regions in the Third World or in areas afflicted by warfare, famine, or natural disaster. The MCF is currently recognized as a non-governmental organization by the United Nations and is known to operate legally and illegally in several hostile or isolated regions outside the Foundation's sphere of influence. While no SCP objects known to have been distributed by the MCF to date have caused intentional harm to human beings or communities, and detained MCF operatives tend to demonstrate strong pacifistic beliefs, containment breaches associated with the group have often resulted in human casualties or severe threats to the global status quo due to unforeseen consequences of the objects released from containment and or a zeal to distribute potentially helpful objects immediately without rigorous scientific study of their long-term behaviors. Objects known to be associated with the Mana Charitable Foundation include SCP-1135, SCP-1176, and SCP-1615. Marshall Carter and Dark 
a club based in London, England, catering to the super-rich and with extensive political and financial ties worldwide. This group has caused extensive problems for the Foundation. Marshall Carter and Dark is known for collecting rare and obscure items, along with providing its members the most exclusive, expensive, and rare experiences available. These activities have resulted in conflict with the Foundation on numerous occasions. The group is not known for the use of force, they prefer to apply extreme financial and political pressure to achieve their goals. When forced to use more direct means, Marshall Carter and Dark employs outside agents, and it is very difficult to connect said agents to the organization. Marshall Carter and Dark have caused several SCP containment breaches, primarily through the use of money or social pressure. Several reports, records, and even items have been leaked by Foundation personnel who have been approached with large amounts of money, or threats of extensive jail time or torture. Notably, two containment sites were almost brought to public attention after the Foundation refused access to members of Marshall, Carter, and Dark. Information pertaining to Marshall, Carter, and Dark, such as the name of the director or even a list of members, have proven very difficult to acquire. Agents encountering members of this group are advised to maintain a cover story and not, for any reason, reveal Foundation ties or SCP information. Nobody. Little is currently known about the person, entity, or group known as Nobody. First sighted in 1954, they have had numerous appearances since. There has only been one person seen at any given time, typically described as a male Caucasian dressed in a gray suit and a fedora. If asked his identity, he replies that he's Nobody. However, it is not known if this is the work of a single person or multiple agents of a single unknown agency. Their agenda is currently unknown, sometimes helping the Foundation, sometimes hindering it. Caution is recommended if any field agents encounter an operative identifying themselves as nobody. The Office for the Reclamation of Islamic Artifacts The Office for the Reclamation of Islamic Artifacts is a paramilitary force answerable only to the Supreme Leader of Iran, dedicated to the collection and utilization of anomalous artifacts throughout the Middle East and Central Asia. Following the 1979 overthrow of the Imperial Iranian government by revolutionary forces and subsequent creation of the Islamic Republic of Iran, all Foundation personnel were expelled from Iran as agents of colonialism. Attempts at maintaining a clandestine presence in the country met with failure, with the majority of Foundation personnel either captured or killed and sites and being captured by Iranian forces. To prevent Iran from being left behind in the field of extranormal research, the ORIA was created by a secret decree of Supreme Leader Khomeini in 1981. Despite its name, the group has not limited itself to the pursuit of anomalous objects of Islamic origin. Although the ORIA has access to considerable resources, its effectiveness is hobbled by infighting among numerous factions within the organization. Some of these disputes center around philosophical differences, such as the weaponization of anomalous objects, while others appear to be personal in nature. The proliferation of factions appears to have been intentional, as the organization of the ORIA often leads multiple commanders with overlapping areas of responsibility. It is theorized that the reasoning behind this arrangement was to prevent any one individual from accumulating enough power to pose a challenge to the Supreme Leader. With the spread of Iranian hegemony throughout the Middle East and Western Asia, the ORIA has expanded its reach across the region becoming the foremost paranormal organization in the Middle East. The ORIA is to be considered a hostile force, and Foundation personnel are advised to use extreme caution when engaging. Aniri Collective Information about the Aniri Collective has come to the Foundation only through interviews with the persons who have come across it, and the anomalous objects they leave behind. It is unknown whether any individuals are members of the Collective, or if it exists as one whole outside the Foundation's perception of reality. Researchers have theorized that the Aniri Collective may be a self-aware dream that works to deliver impermanent dreams to the more permanent reality. It is rumored that certain Foundation employees believed to have been visited in their dreams by shapes and lights, pleading with them to use their influence or responsibility to assist the Collective. All these personnel have undergone amnestic treatment after being interviewed. Intelligence has shown that they have been documented by other groups of interest, usually to a degree similar to the Foundation's interaction. The Aniri Collective is apparently capable of contacting even highly isolated entities, such as Nobody. The only group of interest noted to have antagonistic interaction with the Collective is the Factory, but the reason for this is unknown. Documents related to the Aniri Collective include SCP-2805, SCP-2028, and SCP-2272. Prometheus Labs, Incorporated. Prometheus Labs was founded by 
1892 is the Scientific Research and Development Corporation based in who had over the years developed several potentially marketable projects of a preternatural quality. Prometheus Labs was regarded as a profit organization claiming to develop technology and tools that will aid humanity to surmount the so far extringent realm of the paranormal. Despite posing no direct threat to the Foundation, Prometheus Labs was relatively reckless in the regimens and refused the Foundation's recommendation of special containment procedures for certain products that would warrant them. On January 9, 1998, one of Prometheus Labs' projects resulting in the annihilation of their base facility. In the aftermath, the Foundation swept over Prometheus Labs' Ground Zero and recovered several surviving products and personnel. Products were retrieved as SCPs and survivors inducted as Foundation personnel. The Foundation is currently attempting to establish contact with Prometheus Labs branches and affiliates. Objects recovered from Prometheus Lab facilities include SCP-148, SCP-155, SCP-534, and SCP-1290. The Serpent's Hand The Serpent's Hand is a small but formidable organization responsible for several security breaches. At least three different individuals have been encountered, all of whom use possible or confirmed anomalous items for infiltration purposes, including SCP-268 which was stolen from the Foundation, who had in turn recovered it during a raid of a Chaos Insurgency facility. The total number of members belonging to this organization is unknown, as is their level of technology, number of possible SCPs held, or total level of threat. However, it is clear that they are highly coordinated and possibly dangerous. One of their leaders is thought to be a figure known as LS, who is considered to be personally responsible for two security breaches on Foundation sites. The Foundation currently has very little information about the Serpent's Hand, and almost all known information about the Serpent's Hand has been leaked from the GOC intelligence. The group seems to embrace the use and existence of paranormal items, and in particular seems to embrace humanoid and sentient SCPs. The Serpent's Hand has been highly vocal in criticizing the containment and destruction of these SCPs, especially those which are fully human and not particularly destructive. The group seems to have unfriendly relations with the Chaos Insurgency and the ORIA, and an extremely hostile relationship with the GOC. The only recorded cases of unprovoked violence by Serpent's Hand members have been against GOC agents. The Serpent's Hand seems primarily based in an anomalous location called the Wanderer's Library, a building accessed through portals found in many different parts of the world. Direct assaults on the library have so far proven unfeasible, even when entrance could be found. However, initial intelligence seems to suggest that the Hand has little understanding or control over the place. Attempts to infiltrate the Wanderer's library are ongoing. Unusual Incidents Unit Federal Bureau of Investigation, disparagingly referred to as X-Files after the television program starring David Duchovny and Gillian Anderson by the larger FBI community, the UIU was formed after the SCP <laughs> containment failure incident brought the existence of paranormal activity to the public consciousness. Although later debunked as a <laughs> a writer attached to HR <laughs> by representative <laughs> of required the creation of a special FBI division devoted to rapid response to paranormal events and crimes. Since official protests by then-FBI Director would have drawn suspicion, UIU was formed on to research and react to paranormal activity. Members of UIU are generally well-meaning, although their lack of effective resources and training often makes them a liability in the field. Early attempts to recruit from UIU have met with dismal failure, as UIU is generally considered a dead-end career path. The unit tends to attract the lowest rung of FBI talent. Personnel who request a transfer to UIU voluntarily are few, and those who do generally exhibit high levels of credulity and gullibility. For this reason, UIU officers are to be recruited at the same tier as normal FBI agents. Should UIU obtain possession of a genuine SCP, personnel are required to contact Assistant Director at the Office for Retrieval and Replacement with an Inert Substitute. The standard man-in-black concealment pattern is recommended for these scenarios, and for incidents where UIU is operating in the same theater as Foundation elements. FBI agents operating for the UIU have engaged in combat operations with Foundation operatives and the Office for the Reclamation of Islamic Artifacts as detailed in the of the Bow Commission reports.